In this video, I'll show you how to solve any percent error problem. To solve these types of problems, you'll need to know this formula, where percent error is equal to the measured value minus the correct value over the correct value times 100. The first question reads, a laboratory weight that is certified to be 500.4 grams is placed on a scale. The scale reading is 507.0 grams. What is the percent error? Now just be mindful that both of these numbers have four significant figures. So at the end, we should also have four. The measured value here is 507. And we will subtract this from 500 and divide it by 500. Subsequently, we multiply the whole thing by 100. So using our calculator, 507 minus 500 divided by 500 multiplied by 100 gives us 7 over 5 or simply 1.4, 1.4%. And to have the correct number of significant figures, your answer should be 1.400%. This accounts for the four significant figures with what we started. In question two, they ask, a shaft is known to have a diameter of 35.000 millimeters. You measure it and get a reading of 34 decimal 725 millimeters. What is the percent error of your reading? Once again, we have a very similar problem. We'll take our measured value of 34 decimal 725 and subtract it from 35. And of course, divide it by that. Multiplied by 100, and this should give us our percentage. We have 34. 725 minus 35 decimal 000 divided by 35 decimal 000. And of course, we multiply this by 100, where we end up with negative 0 decimal 78571, stopping right there because that's five significant figures. So let's write that down negative 0 decimal 78571. So let's analyze this number for a second. If the experimental value is less than the accepted value, the error is negative, as you can see here. If the experimental value is larger than the accepted value, the error is positive, as you saw in question one. Often, though, the error is reported as the absolute value of the difference in order to avoid the confusion of a negative error. So the real answer here should be positive 0.78571%. And so there you have it. That is how to solve any percent error problem.